In mathematics, the eccentricity of a conic section is a non-negative real number that uniquely characterizes its shape. More formally two conic sections are similar if and only if they have the same eccentricity. One can think of the eccentricity as a measure of how much a conic section deviates from being circular. In particular, the eccentricity of a circle is zero. The eccentricity of an ellipse which is not a circle is greater than zero but less than one. The eccentricity of a parabola is one. The eccentricity of a hyperbola is greater than one. Topic definitions Any conic section can be defined as the locus of points whose distances to a point the focus and a line the directrix are in a constant ratio. That ratio is called the eccentricity, commonly denoted as E. The eccentricity can also be defined in terms of the intersection of a plane and a double-napped cone associated with the conic section. If the cone is oriented with its axis vertical, the eccentricity is E equals sin beta sin alpha, 0 alpha 90, 0 beta 90, display style E equals frac sin beta sin alpha, 0 where beta is the angle between the plane and the horizontal and alpha is the angle between the cone's slant generator and the horizontal. For beta equals zero, display style beta equals zero, the plane section is a circle. For beta equals alpha, display style beta equals alpha, a parabola, the plane must not meet the vertex of the cone. The linear eccentricity of an ellipse or hyperbola, denoted c or sometimes f or e, is the distance between its center and either of its two foci. The eccentricity can be defined as the ratio of the linear eccentricity to the semimajor axis at, that is, E equals C A display style E equals frac C A lacking a center, the linear eccentricity for parabolas is not defined. Alternative names The eccentricity is sometimes called the first eccentricity to distinguish it from the second eccentricity and third eccentricity defined for ellipses see below. The eccentricity is also sometimes called the numerical eccentricity. In the case of ellipses and hyperbolas the linear eccentricity is sometimes called the half-focal separation. Notation. Three notational conventions are in common use E for the eccentricity and C for the linear eccentricity epsilon for the eccentricity and E for the linear eccentricity E or E epsilon for the eccentricity and F for the linear eccentricity mnemonic for half focal separation, this article uses the first notation. topic values here for the ellipse and the hyperbola a is the length of the semi major axis and b is the length of the semi minor axis when the conic section is given in the general quadratic form a x 2 plus b x y plus c Y two plus D X plus E Y plus F equals zero Display style x carrot two plus B C plus I carrot two plus D X plus A plus F equals zero the following formula gives the eccentricity E if the conic section is not a parabola which has eccentricity equal to 1, not a degenerate hyperbola or degenerate ellipse, and not an imaginary ellipse E equals 2 a minus c 2 plus b 2 eta a plus C plus a minus C two plus B two 
Display style e equals sqrt frac two sqrt ac carrot two plus b carrot two eta a plus c plus sqrt ac carrot two plus b carrot two, where eta equals one. Display style eta equals one. If the determiner NT of the three times three matrix A B two D two B two C E two D two E two F display style begin B matrix A and B two and D two B two and C and E two D two and E two and F end B matrix is negative or eta equals minus one display style eta equals minus one if that determinant is positive. Topic ellipses. The eccentricity of an ellipse is strictly less than 1. When circles which have eccentricity 0 are counted as ellipses, the eccentricity of an ellipse is greater than or equal to 0. If circles are given a special category and are excluded from the category of ellipses, then the eccentricity of an ellipse is strictly greater than 0. For any ellipse, let A be the length of its semi-major axis and B be the length of its semi-minor axis. We define a number of related additional concepts only for ellipses. Topic: Other formulae for the eccentricity of an ellipse. The eccentricity of an ellipse is most simply the ratio of the distance f between the center of the ellipse and each focus to the length of the semi-major axis a e equals f a Display style e equals frac f a. The eccentricity is also the ratio of the semi-major axis a to the distance d from the center to the directrix e equals a d. Display style e equals frac a d. The eccentricity can be expressed in terms of the flattening g, defined as g equals one b a for semi-major axis a and semi-minor axis b e equals G two minus G Display style equals SQRT G two G Flattening is denoted by F in some subject areas, particularly geodesy. Define the maximum and minimum radii R max Display style R underscore text max and R min Display style r underscore text min as the maximum and minimum distances from either focus to the ellipse, that is, the distances from either focus to the two ends of the major axis. Then, with semi-major axis a, the eccentricity is given by e equals r max minus r min r max plus R min equals R max minus R min two a display style e equals frac R underscore text max R underscore text min R underscore text max plus R underscore text min equals frac R underscore text max R underscore text min two a which is the distance between the foci divided by the length of the major axis. Hyperbolas The eccentricity of a hyperbola can be any real number greater than 1, with no upper bound. The eccentricity of a rectangular hyperbola is 2 topic quadrics the eccentricity of a three dimensional quadric is the eccentricity of a designated section of it for example on a triaxial ellipsoid the meridional eccentricity is that of the ellipse formed by a section containing both the longest and the shortest axes one of which will be the polar axis and the equatorial eccentricity is the eccentricity of the ellipse formed by a section through the center perpendicular to the polar axis i.e. in the equatorial plane 
but conic sections may occur on surfaces of higher order too see image topic <laughs> celestial mechanics In celestial mechanics, for bound orbits in a spherical potential, the definition above is informally generalized. When the apocenter distance is close to the pericenter distance, the orbit is said to have low eccentricity, when they are very different, the orbit is said to be eccentric or having eccentricity near unity. This definition coincides with the mathematical definition of eccentricity for ellipses, in Keplerian, i.e. 1 r potentials topic analogous classifications a number of classifications in mathematics use derived terminology from the classification of conic sections by eccentricity classification of elements of sl2 r as elliptic parabolic and hyperbolic and similarly for classification of elements of psl2 r the real mobius transformations classification of discrete distributions by variance to mean ratio see cumulants of some discrete probability distributions for details classification of partial differential equations is by analogy with the conic sections classification see elliptic parabolic and hyperbolic partial differential equations topic <laughs> eccentricity for data shapes the eccentricity is also a concept which is used to characterize statistical distribution of data points around a common axis for example, the eccentricity can be used to characterize shapes of jets of many particles. The definition closely follows the original geometrical concept with one important difference. Data points can have weights. Such weights can lead to a deviation from the standard geometrical concept that assumes that all data points have the same contributions. Topic: See also Kepler orbits Eccentricity vector Orbital eccentricity Roundness object <laughs>